Oh, there's the brute. Hi, Mr. Brute. Oh, this is quite large, actually. Of course, there's a safer way to approach this. Be the one with the... Uh... But I want a troll in here, though. So there is a troll in here. Oh, really? You're 1 HP. Oh, that was really close. Right down there. Might not be a skeleton archer. Oh, it's not a skeleton archer. Just a regular one. And it's gonna... Oh, it's a skeleton archer! Thank god I blocked that. That was... Oh my god! Oh boy, what the heck is this? How come these guys made no noise? I didn't hear them. This is the stupid thing that I'm doing. I'm walking on a mountain. With no frost resistance. No nothing. My HP is gonna suffer. Yeah, there we go. So, and we're gonna... Yeah, we can test the food. Let's see how the food jumps. Oh boy, that's way more health. What's happening? Oh yes, the stamina also got buff. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another series. Day 16 of our uh, Valheim Hardcore Permanent Death Challenge. We've survived so far, we made it a bit uh, through the... Actually halfway through the Bronze Age. We still lot, have a lot of ground to cover, let's get some extra arrows because mines are, uh, are kind of suffering here and there. Let's see, let's get some two feathers. But yeah, we're still smelting things. If you recall from the last episode, we are, we're still smelting ore. We're almost there. I do need to smelt a few more. I'm only gonna need um, copper for uh, for the tools. I'm not gonna build any armor. Because honestly, I wanna play it as an archer and I need to be fast and quick about it. Okay? Now we do have some sort of a weird tower improvisation here doing for our... Um, Defense measure defensive measurements against raids and as you can see these are suffering from the rain But I don't want to cover them honestly that would take too much time and will be not really necessary So let's see. Let's get the coal going in here really fast And start the, the smelting process and then we can have our fun today I don't know what we're gonna do and I have no plan other than waiting for the coal to um, To finish we have some extra resin here. I might go for some extra coal. Let's just see. Let's just go and plant the final stack of uh, copper in this. I do, we still have five more to go, but... Wait. I'm gonna use even those small little five pieces. Because we're gonna need for them for upgrades and stuff like that. And Yeah, do we go for another round of coal? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's go and add the coal in here. Okay, really fast. Get a coal going. Where do we find in terms of food? Before crafting the other food, I do need to finish this one. And actually, we can get the carrot soup going. Hold on. Can we craft the forge? Yes, we can. So let's see. First stone for coal. Ten wood, six copper. Four. I need four coal from here. And for copper for me. What am I doing? Well, look at that. Let's celebrate together, I guess. <laughs> we have the forge soon. Ten wood. And what was it? First stone? Just first stone. Okay. Actually, one way for this is to leave it open like this. So that one doesn't bother me anymore. Oh boy, we have missing requirement. Six copper. Oh, I only have four. What am I doing? But look at this. Ta-da! A new age just opened. Wow. So many recipes, not that many actually. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. We need the bronze to get the most of the recipes. So let's just do that. So what do I need? Do I need like... Six more. Let's just steal some from here. One, two, three, four, six. There we go. 
Now, obviously, we're going to get super encumbered, but that doesn't matter. Also going to need 10 for the cauldron. So, let's see. Wow, now look at the recipes. They will go flying. 30 bronze. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is the bronze nails. This is, hands down, the most important thing that you can craft. Oh boy, now we can have the bronze axe and everything. Okay, let me just throw them here on the ground. Look at that, a new world just opened for us. Where is my favorite device in this entire game? 20 wood. I'm actually going to need 40 wood. But given that this thing is... Uh, I hope we won't have more raids, honestly, because it will be annoying. So I'm going to need two of them. Yeah, one for transportation from the boat to the house, and one for uh, holding a lot of wood when we go wood farming. That thing, I haven't really thought that through, because that thing is right in the middle of the... of my landscape, so now I can't see the Black Forest. Oh boy, but it is what it is, so it's, it's fine. I need to move this entire thing, it's in the way here. So, let me take care of this thing first. Let me get rid of this. So, I want it placed... I don't know where. Let's place it here, I guess. Is this a better spot? Yeah, that's a better spot. Anything is better than there, it's just in the way. So, let's move it here. And then we can take care of uh, all the rest of the details. Okay. How is this? Yeah, it's like this. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I thought they were going to be glitchy for a second there, but they're not. Okay, now we can destroy this entire thing. Okay, let's just go like that. This thing won't be able to be destroyed. Oh, can I pick everything in my inventory? I don't think so. There we go. But we're gonna try. I don't know where my inventory. Okay. Gonna place the wood in this one. We're gonna have this in here. Extra wood in here. Ours will go here. Oh, I haven't eaten. Okay, but this looks nice so far. So we've cleared out some space. We've cleared... Uh, Actually, we've cleared a lot of space, come to think of it. This can rest in here. Let me grab the 10. And let's see. Let's also celebrate the fact that we are going to improve our stats. With this majestic little thing. Look at that. And if you need be, you also have some extra space here for uh, these two uh, crafting things. So, board jerky, queen's jam. I kind of need, I kind of need to upgrade this thing. So, um, I don't know how I'm gonna do that without accessing the forge. So, yeah, the forge. Oh my god, the swamp. This is going to be problematic. Maybe we, we need to find more recipes. I think we need to get the carrots going. Oh yeah, that would be another major thing. So, okay. Let me have... Let me have some uh, core wood in here. I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough core wood. But yeah, let's get the cultivator going. And most importantly, the bronze pickaxe. What about the bronze axe? Oh, I need two. Really? I need two scraps. The bronze axe. We're gonna have some order in here too. What am I looking for? Two of these. Eh, can't reach it. Okay, look at that. The bronze axe. Bronze tools, nice. 
Too bad we don't have a bronze bow or something. Imagine using bronze head arrows. You must be insane and totally out of your mind to <laughs> waste bronze. They get so um it's actually so difficult to get to come by and use it on that. So we can have this. We can have the anvils. We can have the adds. Uh, we need tan fine wood. Do we have tan fine wood? I think we do. By some happy chance we still have tan fine wood. So we can add it in there. Um, one second here. We need to make some room. I need to get rid of this forge, honestly. This is complicated. So I need to have the forge there. Come on, come on. Where's the forge? There is the forge. Okay, we can also have this. It requires 25 fine wood, though. So now we should be able to upgrade, but unfortunately we don't... Oh, we can upgrade a cultivator though, so let's upgrade that. We don't have more bronze. So I do... I will need more bronze, and we can get some more. But let's take one thing at a time here, because this is getting a bit... crowded in here. Okay, so let's see. First things first. I'm gonna place the wood back in his chest. There, like this and this. We're gonna get rid of those tools really fast. Hold on, let me get rid of them. Because now we moved to better tools. But now we have our anti-raid thingy. So goodbye tools. I'm actually sorry for throwing away that flint, uh, flint axe. That's so good though. Okay. And over here, can I climb it? No, come on. Come on, son. There we go. Over here, let's get the copper going. And we do have some more tin in here, too. So 24 equals... I should keep 10. Oh boy, but I need the... Oh, what do I do? I keep 10 for the upgrade. I still need to fire more of this thing. But I think it's the best way is to go like this. Honestly, actually get the bronze going so you can upgrade your tools so you can get the copper easier, right? That would be the easy thing to do. So, one leather scrap and one... Oh, shoot, I don't have the bronze. <laughs> okay. One like this and then we have to go one at a time. Okay, so let's see what exactly what I need because I don't want to carry all the stuff. So one leather scrap and one core wood. So one core wood and one leather scrap. Really? <laughs> that's that's incredibly convenient. Now we have our tools upgraded. Good. Now we can have the rest of the ingots. Oh boy, let's see. That's what I'm doing here. Let's 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 get things in uh, in their appropriate order. And I make this. Uh, we're gonna fill these items with these uh, smelters. Okay. Gonna have the rest of the coal in there. We're gonna have this with us and this with us. So we have one, two, one, two, and one in here. Why not? Might as well. Okay, I should have started the farm, actually. Let's let's start the farm before I forget to start the farm. That would be silly to not have the farm going. Okay. Now, do we have enough room in here for the farm? It's a bit crowded, but I think we can fit a farm in here. So you can have the farm. Let's have the farm here, actually. So one patch two patches. Let's have three patches, and then the fourth one can go like this. Come on, one more. One more. There we go. Does this look even? No. Come on. This is better? That's better. Okay, so let's get the carrots going.
I'm gonna give them enough space. So usually you should leave like um, this is the minimal space between them, a one by one wood wooden floor. So they should be okay as long as you don't plant them too close to each other. But yeah, we're gonna need a lot of carrots. The carrot soup will take a lot of carrots. The rest of the food. This thing takes up too much stamina. In real life, you're, you're not getting tired of planting some <laughs> carrots in the garden. Planting 30 carrots, so you're not getting that tired. Okay, so in tools we have this one, we have this one in ingots, and honestly, at this point, let's just save. We're good to go, we can go grab fine wood, we can go grab some more, uh, I don't know, let's grab some more honey, meanwhile. Look at that, we're gonna lot a ton of honey. Place it here. Oh, where's the chest? And... While we're waiting for the carrots to grow, let's just cook some more food. Might have rushed a bit with this one. Oh boy, we just wait for the carrots or do we cook more food? I don't think the carrots will grow fast enough. So let's just cook two of each. For now. Also grab two more honey. Because uh, I honestly don't want to throw away food. No matter how you put it, it is the most important resource in the game, food. Okay, but let's see. I wish we can go for the swamp. Honestly, I know there. if I go all the way on one side of the island or on the other side of the island, it's a huge island. At some point we're gonna need... we're gonna fall into a swamp. But honestly, I don't know how far that is or if it's a good idea to go for the swamp. I do want the terms, the turnips, though. So, um, maybe we'll go for the swamp in the next episode. I definitely need to get to the swamp real fast. So this is how our base looks, actually. We can have a nice peek at the base from here, from this huge chunk of land where we're safe from enemies. I think it's a really cute base. There's your house. It looks like a small robot. <laughs> looks, looks like a weird device of some sort. But we're going to extend the house and we're going to have a really large one. We're going to extend the land to there, maybe to here, on all the way up until the Black Forest right up there. So in terms of Black Forest, I don't think we have anything... We, we don't need to go into the Black... Why did I lose that much health there? We don't need to get into the Black Forest for anything else. But we have to do something while we're waiting for the grass to grow. Literally, we have to wait for the carrots to grow. So we might as well sleep really quick, so we have time passing faster. Yeah. We can go for one dungeon. I could use some more um, skeletal... skeleton... Oh, we have enough, though. What we could use is... are there... oh, wait. Let's go hunt trolls. Let's go hunt some trolls. Let's go hunt some trolls. Now we're going to spend some time in the Black Forest gathering resources and hunting trolls. That's what we're going to do. I need to upgrade the troll armor though. Yeah, we can upgrade it to level 3 now. And we can get the fine wood to level 4. We can get the fine wood to level 4. I just realized that and I feel dumb. There's a very large oak tree and I'm going for it. It's nearby. I can smell it. It's right there. Oh no, it's not. Oh my god, those are two normal beech trees. But at the edge of this... Um, of this road... Really, Mr. Boar, please, come on. Do we really have to do this? Yeah, missed. I don't need your loot now. There will be a time when I will look for that loot, but not now. I don't want to soil myself with leather scraps and boar meat. What's this? It's a one-star deer and it it was weird. So let's let's get this oak tree going because this will yield the most fine wood. Will I be able to take it in one go? I don't know. This will take a while. 
Why is the X damage on the tree grayed out? It should be yellow. Oh, but we have ancorns. You know what that means, right? Oh, we have six of them. I'm gonna plant these trees so we have fine wood forever. <laughs> Make sure if you plant... Um, Actually, the seeds are really hard to come by. So if you're planting these seeds, make sure you place the trees really far apart because the oak trees require a lot of space to develop and grow. Ow! I thought I was away from your... radius. Okay, so I don't need those. Well, look at that. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of wood. Okay. At this point, once we get this chunk, we should have enough fine wood for now. Oh, so we get 50-50 out of this. Nice. If not, we can go for some more. There, um, I think I'm going to do one more tree. If I can find one. There's one. Found one. But let's see. Maybe, maybe I have one... Uh, closer onto this side. Let's check this side. This side of the lake. So like I said, if you go like towards that place, we're gonna end up in the spawn location. So there's another tree there. But is it one here that's closer? I wish I can find one that's closer though. Let's see, so it's either that one, the one we had in the back. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's one in this forest. So they don't usually spawn in the normal beach forest. You can have them on the edge of the beach forest, but not inside. I don't think I've ever seen one inside the, the beach forest. So even if you do something rare or something glitchy from the game. Okay. So let's get back home with the fine wood. And there's our base. You can spot it from here. So yeah, no oak tree, unfortunately, for us here. Darn. I'm gonna need to go for some more core wood, so I'm gonna take up some core wood trees too, while we're waiting for the uh, carrots to grow. So there's the fine wood. Although I think we have enough core wood for this particular... Let's let's get the trees planted, because this is rather important. So, we're having oak trees planted now. Oh my god. Where do I plant them? So as they don't get destroyed by... Uh, by raids. This is dangerous. I should take care of... Um, I should clear part of the forest so I have room for the trees to grow. This is a nice spot for them. Oh, there's the brood. Hi, Mr. Brood. Oh, this is quite large, actually. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nah. Nah. Just nah. So if you apply multiple fire stacks, eventually you will start dealing a lot of fire damage. So we're gonna have a lot of dandelions just <laughs> from that simple fact. Okay, let's switch back to the normal arrows and start planting these. So only have six, be very careful on how you plant them because they're super rare to get. So one there, this one is there. We can have another one here through three. Four, five, we can have six now. Perfect. So plant them really far apart. I think these two are kind of close. I hope they grow. Because those two are kind of close. They're not that far apart. So let's go back into the base. Now that we're finished planting the oak trees. We're going to have fine wood right outside the base. And a lot of it to that. Let's quickly repair, upgrade our fine wood bow. Let's see. Wow, look at that. 15, 15, and 6. So keep in mind. 15, 15, and then we're going to go need. We're going to repair this in here. Let's go inside and grab 15 of each. Now, obviously, I'm going to need some... Um, what am I doing? 9. 
Also, let's get the tools going in here. Feathers in there. We're gonna need some really... Hold on. Let me focus it here. I don't know what I was talking about, sorry. <laughs> I'm just hyped that we have the bow. So from, so from 28 to 30 damage, it's plus 2 damage. Now you might not think, oh, that's not a lot of damage. But it actually is, trust me. It is. Okay. How's our carrots? Everything depends on the well-being of our carrots. Even if that sounds stupid. And of course, we're going to have another foggy day. Or a rainy day. Oh, it's a foggy day. But yeah, so we were about to go and farm some, uh, or hunt some troll. So let's just do that. And let's look at the black first and see if we can find some trolls in there. If not, I hope that I remember to grab some corwood when we come back home. Oh boy. If it's fog outside, it's gonna rain in the black forest. Is it the thunderstorm though, or is it just rain? Actually, this is good. We might find trolls easier like this. Well, dude, you kind of suck at shooting the bow. But so am I, so... Who am I to judge? Oh, wait. I can do something interesting here. Zbang. <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Trolls? Trolls? Any trolls? Looking for a good, nice troll? Oh, let's fist this guy. Let's take him. Zbang. Zbang. <laughs> let's go medieval on his ass. On his skeleton ass. Okay, this is... um. What do we do? This is not the right way to look for trolls. Also, I need to be very, very careful here. So we'll go inside a bit. Take a really quick peek. There's another skeleton here. There's bound to be one. Where is he? Because... But yeah, this is not helping my case, because I can't spot the trolls if they're nearby or anywhere. Also, for some reason, the monsters in here don't get affected by the wet debuff. So I don't necessarily see them getting wet in the distance or something like that. Getting wet in the distance, now that should be a title of the movie. How tall is... Oh boy. Oh boy, boy. <laughs> look what we found. Oh, these look so cool. They're affected by the frost because of the altitude. Man, that looks cool. What's this? It's a troll inside. Oh, that's a spawner. Let's take care of that spawner first. Let's eat. Take care of the spawner and then go for the troll. Oh, it might, it might die in there, so uh, this entire run might end up here. Of course, there's a safer way to approach this. But uh, why play safe when you can just play uh, weird? We might have enough stone for the troll encounter. Oh, really, you're not dead. You're just gonna live with one HP. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be interesting. So I'm either gonna have troll armor upgrades, or I'm gonna die to this troll. So fighting trolls inside this thingy is never ideal. Let's get rid of the wet debuff. And say goodbye to this world, because we might actually die in here. Which arrows do the most damage? That's 33. Well, the obvious answer is this one. <laughs> These ones. 
Can we get a sneak attack on him? Also, I'm gonna lower this. Please don't be the one with the... But I want a troll in here, though. So there is a troll in here. Oh, it's a normal troll. We're good. Let's have him uh, throw his rock at us. Okay. Throw your rock, Mr. Troll. Gonna aim for the head. Oh, really? You're 1 HP. Oh, that was really close. Oh boy, we have upgrades. <laughs> I was actually scared. Uh, it's never ideal to fight these guys inside. Range or not, or whatever you're gonna build. But there, wish granted, we found a troll cave. We looted. Let's let's grab the, all the jewelry inside. Oh boy, look at that. We're gonna I'm not gonna grab the mushrooms because we have plenty of those. So we, we actually made it, we survived that troll encounter. Took us under a minute to take him out. Because he was glitchy a bit in the beginning. Okay, do we try and grab another troll? That's the question. Maybe we'll face one on the way home. Who knows? There's a skeleton archer, and I think it's a level 1 skeleton archer right down there. Might not be a skeleton archer. Ah, oh, it's not a skeleton archer, just a regular one. And it's gonna... Oh, it's a skeleton archer! Thank god I blocked that. That was... Oh my god. Oh my god, I would have been dead there. Right down and there, I would have died. I think one star skeleton archer... Takes you. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. Oh my god, I blocked it by mistake though. Because I tried to dodge roll. Wow. There's another dungeon here. Great news. Out of all things, found another dungeon. Can I find another troll, please? Don't need the dungeon, I need a troll. Or maybe a troll in a cave? Oh, there's another spawner right there. Well, let's take care of that too, I guess, since we're at it. Since we're not doing anything with our lives right now. And waiting for carrots to grow. What well, could be the best thing to do? Just go into the dark forest. Or black forest. He can't see me. Because of this. <laughs> because of the spawner. Ah, oh, you're angry. Took out your spawner, huh? You have nowhere to spawn right now. Okay, so before we get totally lost, let's try and get head back home. Okay, so there are no trolls. I'm just gonna go up here for a second. And then go down to the right. That should be our way home. I also need to grab some core wood, but unfortunately we're full up on. Uh, I need those. Those I need the stone pieces too. So it, this is obviously a new area because the game just loaded. Oh, it's not. I think it's the downward slope for where we was. Where we was. I'm starting to talk really accurately here, in English. Where we were. Where is you? Okay, so I know where I am. Okay. We're near the coastline. We're good, we're good, we're good. But yeah, so walking, just walking around, you can usually find trolls. You know, you know what? We should go for the Elder. And then we're gonna have trolls spawning other raids. And actually, the troll raids are far easier to take on than uh, the rest of them. We're gonna have a ton of troll armor. <laughs> So the carrots need around two or three in-game days to grow like that. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but uh, 
Might as well repair here. Upgrade. Yes, I shall upgrade. Only oh, takes four. I think we have some inside. Hold on. Let's just place the resources in here. And here. And here. Yeah, we have some more in here. Oh, nice. We have six. So we can upgrade the chest piece too. Okay, no more of this in there. This goes in here. Also, no more resin. I am overfilled with resin. I have too much resin on me. But yeah, this is a very welcome addition in terms of upgrading your gear. So let's see, we have, we should have some extra. How much does it go though? Wait, let me check. I'm curious right now. So let's see, let's see for the headpiece. We are at 10 armor. Is it two? Yes, it's two. Oh, nice. So 32 armor should be enough to get us killed in one swing of a troll. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, two troll pieces there. So let's sleep on it and tomorrow morning we'll go for... I think, I think we don't need to go for some more trolls. We could go and try and find the Elder. I don't want to do that with this type of food in my inventory. However, because the when I go and try and find the Elder, I want to kill the Elder too. That's going to be a really weird and difficult fight. But oh boy, we're in for a treat. So one more day in paradise, I guess. I do need more arrows. Let's actually place these arrows in here. So we have the spare ones. And start crafting some more. Because we do have... A ton of resin. Okay. So let's grab some arrows. I don't know how the carrots are. They might be good to harvest. Let's see. I wish they add bulk crafting. So we don't have to craft 20 at a time, but 100 at a time. How are we doing on the food stuff? Now this will get get excessively crowded, so I might need to 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 might need to extend this further down. So for that we're gonna need some wood. Let's get the wood going. Yeah, we kinda need I, I need to do this. I'm sorry, but I need to do this. I should have done this the first place. Okay. Let's do this like this. And then we can go like this. Take all, take all. Oh shoot. <laughs> that's a bad that's a bad thing. Don't throw them there though. Oh no, why did I just Why would I do that? Did I grab that wood? Where is that wood? Where is that wood? Where is that piece of wood? No, I just grabbed it. Okay, so let's just build this back. Because that wasn't my plan. My plan was to delete this thing. How are the chests stored there? Okay, I'm curious. So the chests have no problem of just staying there on their own, I guess. With nothing in between them. So <laughs> if they're fine, hey, if they're fine, I'm fine. So let's see. Uh, let's color this white again. Color equal white. So let's see. Vegan up there and ingredients. Down there will be meat. Okay. So we're going to have meat down here. Where it belongs. But yeah, this is necessary because if you start to if you start to gather a lot of food, then uh, 
Things will get definitely crowded here. Okay, we can have this in here. We can have the extra honey. And these items can go to ingredients and also anything else that I might find additionally to this. Okay, now that that's done and taken care of. Well, let's see what else we can do with the remaining time of this day. Because these little buggers, they're still not grown and everything depends on them. Might as well go and grab some uh, core wood. So let's just do that. Go and grab some core wood. And I don't want to destroy these trees right here because I will ruin the landscape. And I don't want to ruin the landscape. Let's just grab the core wood in here. Of course there's one. There's one of you here. Now, upgrading your um, your cloak is really not necessary. You're gonna get one extra armor. It's not bad, but it's not good either. So not exceptionally good. That was a log right there. I thought that was a troll's log. Do I hear a troll? I thought I heard a troll or something. I keep looking for them because I don't want them to sneak up on me. Okay, so let's, uh, these trees are too, uh, they're too crowded here. <laughs> let's help them out a bit. Can I take two trees? I don't know if I can take two trees with me. I can take one and a half, I think, with a double res. Will it, is a tree able to kill me? With this much armor, I don't think so. But it doesn't mean it won't hit you hard. Because it kind of will. Because it can do that. Like, I haven't tested things. If you want me to test a lot of things, I can do that on a special video. Tell you what things kill you with what armor on hard mode. So you can definitely, this I know for sure, because I have tested this theory. So you can last for a troll swing, the one when he swings one arm at you. So not the one with the log, the normal troll with no log or anything. So you can last to one swing of a troll with three food items and a level three troll armor, right? So the one at head. If you have around 112, 20 health, you can take a troll swing without dying. It will stagger you, of course, obviously, but you won't die. Now, the troll smash, you will die from a troll smash, obviously. I'm here for the core word, so might as well. So you will die from a... Uh, one more, three more. There we go. From a troll smash. But from the swing, yeah, you can definitely take on a uh, troll swing. One, the one the, the one attack that swings his arms at you. One arm at you, at least. Okay, so you can... Oh my god, he dropped something really that I needed, but... It is what it is. We might get more raids at the base. That looks like a weird tower structure. Honestly, I want to tear it down. I don't think it looks good. It is effective, though. You can just climb up there in your little safe haven. And forget about everything else in the world when the raid is happening. So we might actually uh, keep it for now. But yeah, we have some core wood too. So we should be fine. I'm gonna go for some more fine wood in a second here. We can do that. So actually, let's do that. Let's go and grab some fine wood while we are at it. So we kind of need the fine wood for various reasons. We also need to do a bit of farming. While we're waiting for that, we need to go grab some more copper and tin. I think around uh, 60 bronze. If I get 60 bronze and 60 copper, then we should be fine. I don't know if I'm going to need 60, but for any further uh, 
Actually, there was an oak tree right there. Let me just grab, go for the oak tree. This is stupid. I don't need the card for this. Let me place the card back, and we're gonna use the card when we go for uh, when we go to grab the ore from the chests. But you're gonna see with this pickaxe uh, getting ore and we have also the cards going. It'll be so 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 much faster, like incredibly faster. Oh really? Why? Why? Just why? Had to ruin my armor. He got me in the cape. Let's see. We have around oh 33 bows already. We had 31. Now we're 33 with all that raid shooting and troll fighting. Didn't even realize when the bow got the 33. But yeah, like I said, we kind of need 50 bows before um, going to the swamp. So still, there's a lot of bow skill required to increase. I don't know if we're gonna ever reach that. I'm just saying, we might not even gonna reach 50 bows. But that would be ideal. So there are two large oak trees right here. One here, one there. We're gonna take these ones out. And hope for some acorns. Let's see. This takes a while. Oh, we got him. We got acorns. Wow. This is this is actually really good. Now that we got the acorns, we have eight. Oh, no, we have six. <laughs> Usually you get three, so... Uh, yeah, double resources actually makes it way easier for you. In terms of grinding, so you don't have to grind that much. I just only wood, so... There's that. Okay. This last log and we're, we're good to go. I don't know how you can make planks using a uh, axe. You kind of need a, cha a, um, a chainsaw. I was going to say a chainsaw, but a hacksaw. Or a saw. What am I talking about? I think the hacksaw is the one for the metal. Okay, we got some some of this, some of this, and we might even go and start farming uh, some copper in the black forest. I might need to create a small hut for me in there. Yeah, we're gonna go home, sleep on this. Am I going diagonally weird? I'm going diagonally weird. Oh come on! There's the road, there's the base. Yeah, I was going the wrong direction there. See? Oh boy, come on. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. These, these guys are scaring me. So you're rocking around the forest and out of nowhere by this, by a tree. Oh my God, you're here too. So by a tree out of nowhere, you just hear someone going at you. But yeah, this happens if you run frantically like I did there, so. Yeah, we can definitely go for um for some black forest mining. And we have the wood going in there, we have the wood going in here. Everything's starting to look up. I'm gonna plant these in the miscellaneous chest. Yeah, we can sleep on it. Why not? And tomorrow morning will be our last day. <laughs> oh my god, that would be, that's a terrible prediction, actually. <laughs> last day. I mean, like, I have to end the episode up to tomorrow. Because we've stretched a bit far. Still waiting for those carrots to grow. Maybe they did grow. Let's check them up. Let's check them out. Um, no, where's the meat? Where's the meat? There's the meat. Now, can we have carrots? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Let me grab the torch. It's kind of dark in the morning. Wow, they're not all grown. They're not all grown. But it will grow soon, so let's just start plucking them, I guess. The ones that are grown. Wow, look at that. Access to better food. So they will definitely grow. Like you can see, they're just growing 
before our eyes. So, wow. Now, now, now here's the game changer. Dear Stu, so we jumped from 35 to 45, 10 extra HP right there. The bird jerky isn't that great, so we're gonna use the uh, cooked deer meat. And the carrot soup, 45, so from 35 up to 45, we're definitely gonna go for this. I don't know if we have enough carrots though. We're gonna see, we're gonna see that. Because we need 10 carrots for this too. Okay, so uh, let's cook some deer meat. Well, yeah, this is this is actually this is great. Six. I need. Uh, actually, let's do this. Right. Let's start cooking it like this. Now uh, I should actually build another fire for cooking this food, but uh, okay. Let's say it's fine for now. Oh wait, we have these two items. I keep forgetting. So minced meat sauce. Oh boy, so boar meat and necktail. Do I have enough necktails? I keep looking in the wrong chest for them. Seven. I'm gonna wait for this food too. I, obviously, we're gonna use this food. Or do we throw it away? What do I do? I think I'm gonna throw it away. Let's see. The other carrots should be ready. Let me just check on them really quick. So let's throw one away. There's still not of them. Not all of them are still uh, ready for... Uh, they're not ripe. Come on. It's getting there. Okay, so let's see, what else do we need? Dear Stu, 10 blueberries. There you have it, sir, 10 blueberries. So let's start smashing the... Also, imagine being able to cook these in a bulk. Instead of cooking it one at a time. Because this is actually annoying. To cook them all one by one. But it's getting there. Oh boy, we've improved a lot. Look at this. Minced meat sauce. Let's see. Let's get the 10 boar meat, 10 carrots, and 10 necktail. So, we need 10 boar meat, 10 necktail. Oh, good god. 10. 10. Oh my god. I keep pressing the wrong keys on the keyboard. Wow. Okay, so now we have the better food. This is actually a great upgrade. A very welcomed one of that. I don't think we have enough carrots though. We might need to go and grab some more carrot seeds in the forest and some more thistle. So let's do some light exploring exploring in the dark forest, I guess. That would be the pro most appropriate term. I have to throw that away. Uh, I do need some more carrots, please. Can I? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 30, perfect. Let's get the carrot soup. Also need 10 mushrooms, so. Also grab some more mushrooms since we're at it. So basically grab a ton of resources. Look at that. I'm really curious to see. So we are at around 90... 95, I think, HP. I'm gonna check soon. 95 HP, and let's see how much stamina. I'm saving after that. So we don't lose this progress. Okay, so let's see. We're at 100 stamina and 95 HP, 100 stamina. Okay, so let's go and grab some resources actually in the Black Forest. More carrots and everything, and uh, some more thistle. And then maybe start hunting some boar and call it a day. So that was that. I'm curious to see where our HP plummets. I think it's 15 extra HP and 10 extra stamina, but still. Look at that. There's the welcoming committee right here. Yeah, I thought they're gonna get a sneak shot on him. Couldn't. Oh, really? 
you're gonna cook. Oh yeah, we can grab the other one that we killed the last day. So we're gonna keep those there. So keep an eye on them. But yeah, let's explore this a bit and see if we can get more carrot seeds. I know you can plant carrot for seeds. I know that. Okay. I just don't know. I might need some because I've used them all for the soup, for the carrot soup. I only have a few left in my garden. So yeah, let's start gathering stuff. So there we go, mushrooms. Oh, there we go. There they are, the carrot seeds. And some thistle. We also need some... Uh... I think the carrot soup is better than the queen's jam. The one you craft from uh, blueberries and raspberries. I think it's a bit better. It should be actually, it's a carrot soup, darn. So we only need 10 blueberries. So even these eight will do. But yeah, meanwhile we can explore in here, see what we can find. There's some more carrot seeds. We're gonna get some extra wood and stone from all the monsters. But definitely, definitely, I'm definitely here for the carrot seeds. I wanna have a lot of carrots. For obvious reasons, because in each of this food that we just crafted, that, that requires carrots. So actually having them in large amounts helps you a lot. I'm gonna do something really stupid very soon. Okay, that's 10. So no more. And here's the stupid thing that I'm gonna do. I just spotted the mountain biome. I'm just gonna go around the mountain biome for a while. Because there is a happy chance that we find a small hut that contains onions. Imagine imagine planting onions. Okay, so this is extremely dangerous because there might be wolves about. Okay, where am I going? Oh boy, what the heck is this? How come these guys made no noise? I didn't hear them. Thank you for removing me from my trajectory. Really? Why do these guys chase me so hard? Oh, they have, I think they have increased movement speed. I think they have they might have increased movement speed. I don't know. Let me know if you know any details of the sort. Do monsters have increased movement speed? Because I feel like they do on this mode. The trolls and everything. Wow, I've never actually seen a structure like this this in this good shape. They're usually in ruins. So this looks like a mountain biome, but I don't think it's a uh, 100% mountain biome. It's, I mean, it's a mountain biome, but I don't think it has any resources on it. Wait. What if I can get obsidian arrows? That would help a lot. I can't get the frost resistance meat. What do I need for the frost resistance meat? Oh boy, I think I need a higher level in my cauldron, yeah. I need to be in the swamp. So if I can go to the swamp, hold on, hold on, let's think this through. Okay, so this is the stupid thing that I'm doing. I'm walking on a mountain with no frost resistance, no nothing, my HP is gonna suffer. Yeah, there we go. I don't wanna freeze, I don't wanna freeze to death. So it's one HP tick per second, the freezing effect. You'd think that the troll armor uh, will keep you safe, but no. Okay, so we should be get back home soon, and we're gonna... Oh, we can test the food. Let's see how the food jumps. Oh boy, that's way more health. What's happening? Oh yes, the stamina also got buff. With the food. Oh my god, that's a lot of stamina and health. So 
So now we can actually tank a troll hit. The normal swing anyway. Hello. Goodbye. Cook. There we go. Cook. Go and cook yourself. So I know where I am. I've been here. I've checked this. Have I not checked this? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I know where I am. I've checked this. Meanwhile, the game was hold E to stack. I think I have enough thistle though. Yeah, I have to throw some away. Nothing here. I think I've checked this. I mean, might have checked that. Okay, so we're coming strong. Look at that, three boar. Let me get the boar. Because actually, this time I need them. Now, where's the other one? Let me have the other boar. And now I can take care of you guys. One, two. Let's count together. Three, four. But yeah, basically I was there for the boar. Since we do need their meat now, they've actually became essential. I'm gonna start looking for some more. There are some more. Let's say first. And we can call it a day. After we get the boar. Come on, stop. Oh, really? God, I hate this thing. The way you have to aim downward when the target is close by. But as you can see, if your forest is clean, then you can uh, find resources way easier. For instance, I've spotted some mushrooms here, some boar back there where I just left. So, uh, there's that. Let me get the other boar and see if we can find some more in here, but I think that's just... Oh yeah, we need the neck tails too. So we can farm some necks too. I've spotted one more here. Go away! This is my forest now. I don't need their trophies. I don't know if you use them for anything else in the game. I honestly don't have the space to collect them right now. I will have once we get to the larger um, building. That's a deer too, and that's a boar. So I just want the boar. Come on, Mr. Boar, climb up there. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing ahead for shooting you. You know what I should do? I should start gathering, gathering the... <laughs> oh my god. Almost... Uh, I almost spit on my microphone there. Okay, so uh, I should start gathering dandelions. A dandelion must be the last one this season. There you go, another Ice Age reference. Sid eating dandelions. Okay, there's some more in here. The thing is, you're gonna find them everywhere, but when you're actually searching for them, they're really hard to come by. There are a lot of mushrooms right on this road. So we are um, we're set for life when it comes to mushrooms. Okay, there's some more dentlines here and some more there. And we're good. Is that a boar? Hey, Mr. Boar, kind of need you. Need your precious loot. Give me your precious loot. Okay, so more and more down the line here. Actually, two more. And we should be fine. So, that was it. We can sleep on it and... Uh, actually, let's plant the... Let's harvest and plant all the uh, seeds for the... Rest of the carrots. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. So, let's repair quickly here. Nothing damaged. 
in terms of food, we've achieved a lot. Like, if you look at the food stuff now, it's 120 HP with 125 stamina. So it's pretty balanced, if you ask me. Not that you ask me, that uh, I'm gonna keep telling you anyway. So <laughs> it's pretty balanced in terms of uh, balancing, as far as balance goes. And um, there goes that, there goes this. Can we have carrots in here? I'm gonna plant five for the seeds. Or should we plant more? Uh, let's plant nine for the seeds. So then we ha we're gonna have a ton of seeds, of carrot seeds. What else goes in here? Uh, meat. There we go. Meat goes in here. Let me just place them really quick. That goes there. That goes, goes there. The arrows. So we have this inside here. The wood goes in there. The trophy. Where's the trophy one? The trophy goes in there. The miscellaneous items go in there. I'm just gonna plant the. And I'm gonna have the end of. And to, ah, just gonna plant the carrot seeds. And we'll end the episode here. So nine of them. There we go. So yeah, we should be fine. At this point, we've made a lot of progress in the game. We didn't die to the troll in the cave. And uh, hold on, let me get up here. So we start our adventure next time right up here. Or in the base for the record one say. Okay, so um, that's all for now. In the next episode, I'm planning on trying to find the elder, find the elder uh, stone, and I honestly progress to the swamp. Because at this point, we're good. So far, we're, we have achieved a lot. We can start looking for the swamp. And after we find the swamp, actually build a better base and a larger one than that. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. Much love from me, and... Glad that you're here to share this adventure with me. Bye-bye.